We are learning more this morning about the gunman's link to the community college in Roseburg, Oregon, where he killed nine people and injured nine others on Thursday. Christopher Sean Harper Mercer died in a shootout with police. John Blackstone is in Roseburg with the latest. John, good morning. Good morning. Well, the road to Umca College here is closed, and the college itself will now remain closed through next week. Now, we, we now know that the shooter, Chris Harper Mercer, was a student at the college, and he was enrolled in the class where he opened fire. Now, investigators are now looking in there trying to determine his motive. Investigators have been searching through the apartment just outside Roseburg where the shooter, Chris Harper Mercer, lived. They found a stash of guns and ammunition, all purchased legally. So far, we've recovered 13 weapons. Um, out of those 13 weapons, uh, we currently have in custody six were recovered at the school, seven were recovered at the shooter's residence. But they were all purchased legally by the shooter. Some were purchased by the shooter, some were not purchased by the shooter. Neighbors describe him as distant. Very quiet, uh, pretty reserved. Um, like I say, you pass him in the parking lot, in the stairs, something like that, and you know, you'd say hi, and he wouldn't even really acknowledge you. Officials are trying to piece together the suspect's motive. They discovered a lengthy document. A source describes it as a rant of someone who is mad at the world. He wrote about feeling like a loser without a girlfriend, his hatred for black men, and going out in a blaze of glory. Anna Boylan was wounded in the attack. She told her brother the gunman asked his victims about their religion. He would stand them up, and if they said they were Christian, he said something along the lines of, you'll be with God soon. That's, that's what I've been told. The attack has been devastating for this small but strong community. One person's deranged act may have indeed broken all of our hearts, but he cannot prevent our hearts from growing back bigger and stronger and more committed to the Oregon that we all love. As a country, we cannot just shrug our shoulders and move on. As Roseburg mourns, investigators are focusing on Chris Harper Mercer. Reports say the note he left behind portrays him as uh, depressed and angry, and but apparently not affiliated with any group. Vanita, Anthony? John Blackstone in Roseburg, Oregon. Thank you, John.